And we begin tonight with breaking news on Colorado's election results. One tight congressional race has been called, another still too close. Let's start with one of the most closely watched races in the entire country right now. That's Colorado's third congressional district, where Democratic challenger Adam Frisch has a razor thin lead over the Republican incumbent Lauren Boebert. Just 64 votes with more ballots to count. We do have a winner in Colorado's new eighth congressional district. Republican Barbara Kirkmeyer conceded the evening to Democrat Yardia Caraveo. We have team coverage of these close contests, which will help determine the balance of power in Congress. Alan Janay covering District 8. Want to start, though, with Spencer Wilson on that photo finish for Bobert and Frisch. Spencer doesn't get much closer than this. Jim, it is incredibly close. Like you said, 64 votes right now as of the latest. And here's the thing. It is possible that this will go to a recount, which would be automatic. In Colorado, if the race is so close that it is between 0.5%, the state will automatically ask everyone to recount the votes, which could be a lot of counties, considering three is one of the very largest in Colorado. That being said, if you're a candidate and you want to ask for a recount, you can do that too. It'll just cost you unless it actually changes the decision. This is going to be a tight one to watch. In the meantime, the race between these two jumped from just 2,000 votes between them to only 62, up to 73 votes, and now back down to 64 votes in favor of Frisch as more and more votes are counted. Now, there's still eyes on a few thousand votes left out standing around District 3 that have the potential to swing this anyway, but Bobert was confident last night and has stayed quiet ever since. I don't believe that we will lose the Colorado 3rd District. I look forward to being the Congresswoman once again in a second term and uh, and fighting for everything that we work so hard. You know, this is a woman who did not win her own district, her own county. Now, when I talked with Adam this morning and Frisch, excuse me, Adam Frisch this morning, uh, he said he would accept the results if it came out that he lost. We asked Congresswoman Boebert last night whether or not she would accept the election results. She didn't answer that question, but she just simply said she's not going to lose. Now, a quick thing for people calling our newsroom, there is no runoff in this. That's not how it works in Colorado unless you're talking about a very specific race in Denver for uh, mayors in that instance. But in this case, it's just a runoff if it comes, or excuse me, just a recount. If it comes to that, no runoffs in this scenario. Live in the Mountain Newsroom, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Our civics lesson. Spencer, thank you. <laughs>